Good morning, everybody. This is Darren with Five Star Fitness, continuing once again with the theme, staying in the kitchen. Um, this morning, I wanted to show you how I put together my breakfast. And I have pretty much the same thing every morning with a little bit of variation, you know, portion size and whatnot, depending on the needs for the day. But um, we're going to do oatmeal today. So I just thought I'd show you really quick how I put that together. And since everybody's always in a hurry in the morning, you always want to have something that's fairly time efficient. So we're going to start with just two thirds of a cup of plain rolled oats. One third, two thirds, a sprinkle of cinnamon, a couple pinches of chopped walnuts for some good healthy fats. Adding to the mix, we're going to throw in a small dose of frozen blueberries. Just frozen right out of the freezer is perfectly fine. You have something that looks about like that kind of a mixture. Looks tasty already. So now, in order to make this a complete breakfast with carbs, proteins, and fats, um, we're going to add in our proteins now, which are actually just egg whites. So this is the part that was always a little, uh, little dicey for me. I was never really good in the kitchen. I never really had a lot of familiarity, which is why I like to do these videos because I know there's a lot of other people like that out there as well. So. Um, we're going to put in four egg whites. So the key here, give the egg a good wrap, hold it over the bowl, split it apart. But we want to keep the yolk contained in the shell. So your fingers will get a little bit messy here. I know it's a bummer. You just got out of the shower. You're all nice and clean to go, but you're going to have to clean up just a little bit more. So we just kind of toss that back and forth between the two halves of the shell, just getting all the egg white out of there. Then we'll chuck that. It's okay, you know, I can't tell you how many eggs I've thrown away this way, you know, at the, or risked uh, getting a shell piece in the oatmeal, which would be very unpleasant. Um, sometimes you may get a little bit of yolk in there. That's not bad, you know. You don't really want four egg yolks in the morning necessarily. Um, not, not on a typical diet anyway. And don't expect, uh, you know, that... The whole point here is to have a nice, easy breakfast. This will probably not be easy the first time you try it if you've never cracked eggs before consistently. And while my technique is hardly, uh, oh, see, there we go. That was good, just to show you that I'm human too. I made a mistake. So we'll kind of pick that egg yolk out of there, get as much of the good stuff off it as we can, chunk it in the sink, give our hands a good washing. So the only thing we're missing now is water. And I know that with two-thirds of a cup of dry oatmeal, we typically want to add about one and a third cup of water. But the egg white is going to count as some of our liquid, so I've just measured out one cup of water here, and I'm not going to use all of this. I'll show you what I'm looking for here. So we add the water in here. I'm going to put most of it in there. Then I'm going to stir it up. And I'm looking for that kind of a consistency right there, where it's just kind of the beginnings of a nice soupy consistency. You don't want it too thick, or else it's never going to, it's it's just going to turn into a brick in the microwave. But you don't want it too wet and soupy either, or else then it's just going to, you know, it'll be like soup after you microwave it. No good. So we'll go with that, all nice and mixed up. It's going to take about three minutes in the microwave, so I'm going to put it in there, and I'll see you then. Okay, it's been three minutes. Let's see where we're at. Of course, I've done this enough times, I know where we're at. And this is what we get. So it's a fairly thick mixture. We can see the egg whites mixed in there. So it's a good mix of carbs, proteins, and fats with the walnuts. We got the blueberries in there for a little bit of flavor. And then just to top it all off, I'm going to use some fantastic Mrs. Butterworth's sugar free maple syrup. I'm not a huge fan of sugar free products just because the sugar alcohols are not really the ideal um, nutritional component that you want to be adding into your food. But for a little bit of extra flavor, it's it's certainly not a bad thing to mix up in uh, every now and then. Um, the serving size on this is a quarter cup, which contains 20 calories, so you're not going to do a lot of damage if you put a little bit in here to sweeten the deal. So there we go. I wish you could smell this because it's pretty good. So I encourage you all to give this a shot. Try it out on your own. Leave some comments on the video. Send me an email if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or anything like that. Thanks for watching.